Mark helped create the Argus II, a bionic eye that has restored vision to patients who've been blind for up to 50 years. In 2015, Mark Humayun was presented the National Medal of Technology and Innovation from President Barack Obama for doing something once inconceivable, giving sight to the completely blind. As lead inventor of the Argus II, an electronic retinal implant, Humayun has reached new frontiers in medicine by opening a world of light to those who have only seen darkness. You can't really recognize facial details yet, um, but you can definitely see people's outlines when they're moving, outlines of cars and large objects. While that currently is a far cry from the popular fictionalized concept of a bionic eye, Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. It nonetheless represents an unprecedented leap into the realm of biotechnology and vision restoration. It was so difficult. There was literally nothing in this area. How could you think of putting any electronics in the eye? The way it works is a microchip is implanted in the retina. A small video camera mounted on a pair of glasses sends information to a portable video processing unit that sends the information wirelessly to the microchip. The microchip converts it into tiny control pulses and then the electrode array jump starts the otherwise blind eye and sends the information to the brain allowing the blind person to see. The device, developed while he was at Duke, was FDA approved in the U.S. in 2011 and is available in more than 40 countries. So far, more than 400 patients worldwide with certain types of retinal disease have benefited from the device, including patients at Duke. Start stimulation. Yes. Can you see? Oh my goodness. Wow, Can you see Larry? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Humayun is the only ophthalmologist elected to both the National Academy of Medicine and the National Academy of Engineering. Humayun's family emigrated from Pakistan when he was nine years old. His initial interest in medicine was neurosurgery, but during his third year of medical school at Duke, my grandmother started to go blind from complications of diabetic retinopathy. She used to read books to me. I was very, very close to her, so it was extremely traumatic. Humayun changed his career path to ophthalmology, remembering an incident during his neurosurgery research year at Johns Hopkins in which a blind woman being treated for seizures saw spots of light when her brain was electronically stimulated. So it led me to think, could you actually electrically stimulate the otherwise blind eye to send some information? While an ophthalmology resident at Duke in 1992, Humayun conducted the first human test of an early prototype and a man who had been blind for 50 years. After about 20 or 30 minutes of seeing nothing, he, he responded by saying, oh, do you mean that little light that like, looks like a candle out in the distance? Uh, and it was really amazing. It was it's still to this day, it's the best professional moment of my life. In his words, and I think no pun is intended, there wasn't a dry eye in the operating room. <laughs> As Chair of Biomedical Sciences at Keck School of Medicine at the University of Southern California, Humayun's drive to improve the device is as passionate as it was when he was developing it. He and his team's next goal is to improve the resolution quality and add color. Humayun and his wife Karen have a son and daughter, both Duke undergrad students. As a former Division I tennis player at Georgetown, Humayun still likes to get out on the court. He also likes windsurfing, snowboarding, and hiking. He says his Duke experiences transformed his life. So it really positioned me both from medical school throughout the residency program uh, to take the lead in ophthalmology. And I felt like I needed to do that. I had the training and now I needed to step it up. <laughs>